Alright, yo guys, Justin Mac 2 here, and today I am back, and I'm going to be showing you how to update the new uh, Boston Logan International Airport scenery that Mr. X6 has just released. He has released version 2 of it, so I'm going to be showing you how to update it to the latest version. Now, this method is also pretty similar to how you install scenery from scratch as well. So yeah, let's get into it. Alright guys, so before we start this video, uh, please like and subscribe, it will really mean a lot to me. We've been growing quite well recently. Now I did have a video showcasing this uh, scenery in X-Plane. However, for some reason the file got corrupted. And then when I restored it and recorded a new version, it, uh, it, it came out really stuttery and strange. So I'm not sure why that's happening. So sorry for the uh, delayed uploads. Um, and lack of uploads recently, I will be getting back on schedule. But yeah, so, uh, first of all, you want to go to this link in the, uh, it will be in the description below. And here we have KBOSS Boston Logan International Airport 2.01 by Mr. X6. Uh, you can see some of the features here. So we have a very highly detailed KBOSS scenery. Animate, animated airport vehicles, animated marshes and jetways, and you need a SAM plugin for that. That's really in, easy to install, just uh, go on YouTube or just search in SAM. You can download the installer, uh, install the installer, load up the installer, and then just click install and it will sort itself out. Uh, some real nice custom ground textures, photo scenery for the airport and surrounding area, and lots of landmarks. So. We have some bridges in Boston, we have some buildings, and they do look really good, really good. Now, to uh, download, so you can click download this file here, okay, and now I'm going to download it to x 11 mods, and sfd underscore kboss Boston Logan International Airport, I already have it here, so I'm not actually going to download it. It's a zip file, so I'll show you what to do to unzip that. Now you also need to install Mr. X6's uh, library 2.0. Now a library is essentially, all it is, is these vehicles and they will be used in other uh, sceneries as well by him. Now there's a huge variety of uh, aircraft at this airport. Uh, so yeah, it's really good. So you want to download this as well and Download for that. I think I already have it. There you go Okay, so now we can go to wherever we downloaded it as you can see here Okay now This is a I have a proper file here, but you will download as a one of these compressed zip folders So this is obviously different, but it will be just like this this icon here and you'll say this here so what you do is click that and you can click extract all or you can use WinRAR extract to better push back. And you should get a folder like this. SFD KBOSS Boston Logan International. Click it. Click custom scenery. Click it again. And you can see all the files here. You want to go back one and click this one. So you want not, not uh, that. You don't want this folder. You want the one after custom scenery this one okay so we can copy that okay now I'm gonna to go to my documents or you can go to wherever your x is installed x 11 custom scenery and paste it in there so if you were installing it from brand new as you can see on the page where, where is it where is it uh, previous one uh, as you can see here, if you have version like one, the original uh, stuff, you will have three folders: the airport, the ortho photos, and the ground traffic city. 
uh, you'll have here. So you can just go ahead and delete those. And now it's all in one folder. So you can go ahead and paste that in there. I'm not going to because I already have it. Now we can go back to our downloads wherever you downloaded it and do the same thing with this unzip the folder and go into custom screen you missed x library here and you can copy that go back to your x plane install go to custom scenery and paste it in there now you don't need to delete the original file um that because the mr x6 library 2.0 is just an update so you can just Paste it and it'll overwrite. Okay, next thing we need to do is sort out the uh, scenery packs.ini. So this tells the game, the sim, what to load in, in which order. So for example, orthos are always loaded last uh, as they are the ground textures and you, you, you want the buildings on top. Uh, so generally when you have orthos, you have that below global airports and all that stuff but we're not talking about author right now so the mr x library here uh needs to be anywhere above global airports so just there is fine and you can put boston logan at the top just like that now the way to do this is you want to load x plane 11 okay go into the main menu so where it says resume flight, new flight settings, all of that. Oh, my second monitor just uh, disconnected. That's fine. Um, so yeah, that's what, what you want to do. And then you can close x -plane. So just load it and close it again. Okay. Now you'll have the two new uh, lines. So for each folder that's in your custom scenery file, you have a line here. Okay. So... All you want to do, for example, this one was already at the top for me, so that's fine. But this one here might not be at the top, so I will put it back to how it was. So you can cut that. And I'll paste it up here. So it's like that, okay? Now this would work as well. Um, so, But I just liked it kind of where it was. So if you needed to move it. You can cut that, delete that space there, and stick it wherever you want. So I had it, uh, I had it here, didn't I? Just like that. And then you want to click File, Save. If you have, if you're installing a scenery um, and you had some author photos, you want to stick it down here at the bottom. But yeah, I really do hope this helped. I hope it all went right. Now, if you have any questions, please do let me know. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoy your new scenery. The scenery is so good, honestly. Huge shout out to him. Doing it for free as well. J just amazing. We have 3D grass and everything. It's great, honestly. Go check it out. But yeah, I will see you in the next video. Thank you, guys.